I could never give up pizza. It's something I hear all the time from first time patients. And I get it, pizza really is one of America's favorite foods. But take a closer look at a standard slice of delivery pizza, a flour crust, highly processed dairy that's barely cheese, tomato sauce, it's an actual gut bomb. In The Plant Paradox, I show where pizza is one of the leading causes of obesity in the United States. So for my new book, The Plant Paradox, I came up with a pizza recipe that's as healthy as it is delicious, and I want to share it with you today. I call it my grilled portobello pesto mini pizzas. Now you can make your own pesto, as I show you in the book, or you can do what I'm going to do today, and use a high quality pre-made pesto sauce. Costco and Trader Joe's both make really good ones. So to make your pizzas, set one burner of a gas grill to high or place a grill pan on the stove with a burner set to medium high heat. Now what you're going to do is you're going to rub the caps of two portobello mushrooms. I've taken the gills out but you can leave the gills in and you're going to pour a bit of oil on them both on the inside and the outside of the caps and it's okay to use your fingers it's all right and just rub that around and then you're going to put cap side down on your grill pan or on your grill and you're going to cook that for about five minutes that's just to brown this and actually to cook the mushroom once they begin to brown slightly we're going to flip them over and we're going to do it the same way on the other side. And this will usually take about five minutes on each side. Usually even on high heat, five minutes is not enough to burn your mushrooms, but you're going to have them nicely browned on both sides. So now we've done our five minutes on both sides and we're going to take them out of the pan but leave the burner on because they're going to go back in just a minute. Now, I like to take about three tablespoons of pesto sauce. And pesto is one of the best foods on the planet. It's made out of olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and basil. And I can tell you that Costco's Kirkland brand has basil from Liguria, Italy, where I travel extensively to look at their food and how they prepare. So now we've got the pesto on the pizza. And then for you non-vegans or vegetarians, I like to add some Italian prosciutto to this, just some thin slices. In the book, I've got vegetarian and vegan options for both of these. In fact, every recipe in The Plant Paradox is vegan and vegetarian friendly with options. So then we put the prosciutto and now get yourself some buffalo mozzarella. That's not just the plain old white mozzarella that you see in all the stores. It should come from a water buffalo and I like to cut it into oh about four slices per pizza. You can put less or you can put more. Again, I've got vegan options for this part in the book. Okay, now that's gonna go back on the grill. And if you're using a fry pan or a grill pan, what I like you to do is get a cover for it. And now we're going to bake it for about five more minutes until the cheese is melted. Now. You can season it with salt and pepper at this point, or you can season with salt and pepper after you take it out. Once it's done, we're gonna take it off and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the finished product. Okay, so this is it coming off of the grill or out of your grill pan. You can eat this with a knife and fork, which is what I do, and believe it or not, an Italian actually uses a knife and fork to eat their pizza. You can pick them up, but I gotta tell you, they're really juicy and messy with cheese and the sauce from the pesto. There you have it, a mini portobello grilled mushroom pizza. Serve it with a side salad of arugula. You're gonna get your pizza fix, but it's actually gonna improve your health. Your gut bugs love this. Give them what they like to eat. They'll take care of you. That's the whole principle of the plant paradox. Enjoy. Bon appetit. This is Dr. Stephen Gundry. 
always looking out for you, but right now I'm looking out for my bug. Mmm. 